Hey guys, welcome to my installation tutorial for Dakian. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install this onto your local Windows machine with NVIDIA GPU. And if you don't have, you can still run it, but you have to do everything on CPU only. And yeah, let's get started. Right here, what I've originally linked in my description for the video is to their official codes. And these official codes aren't really fit for Windows, so I forked the version myself. So we'll be referring to my forked version instead mostly but all credits um still goes back to the original authors uh, i'm just here to show you guys how to install it and then make it easier so yeah let's get started first you want to install anaconda so if you don't have anaconda you can click on this link here oh and you just download it for windows uh i don't want to download it i already have it so the 64 by version oh where'd it go the 64 by version will be fine here. And after you've installed it, you want to open it up. So go to search bar and open it up. And then we want to find a location for you to install your codes. So that will be in my tutorial folder. And yeah, um, I want to copy this and then I want to CD for change directory and paste my file directory. And if you want a different disk, you need to switch your disk by typing your desk name, mine is F. So I um, can okay, switch like this. So you can see I've successfully switched my desk now and I want to create a folder. So make directory and then I want to name the folder again. And then I want to go into that folder. And next you want to download the codes. You can either do it manually by going here, pressing code download zip and extract it to your, to your um, folder or your fire explorer or you can use git clone if you have git clone installed you need to just copy the link and then type git clone and then you paste the link here press enter and yeah uh in this in my fourth version i slightly adjusted the requirements so it's it's more suited for windows machine and next after you have cloned it you'll want to cd again into the root folder which is which should be like this you can see if you go in this folder it'll have all the codes here and other miscellaneous folders so after that you want to copy the first line here kind of create the environment so here you're basically creating the environment and i already have one i'm just gonna replace it okay press yes i um, mean press enter for y and yeah um it will automatically activate it so you can see it, the environment is activated here and it will show again instead of um base this means you're in a virtual environment called again and now you can install all the dependencies into this environment suitable for these codes so let me just copy the second line conda and store pytorch press enter okay it's done and then go to the next line pip install dash r requirements.txt everything should work because um are you specified all the right versions of dependencies yeah after that is done we're gonna copy the last line and then paste it here so yeah that is done so right now we've just finished setting up the virtual environment for the again so next time when you close your anaconda prompt and you want to use this environment again you just need to conda activate the again and then you don't need to do anything else about the dependencies since we can just reuse this the again re environment so let me say again next time if you want to use um the the codes in the again you just need to cd into this directory here oh crap and activate the environment and you can just run the inference codes here right away so yeah let me show you how to set up the folder so to easier use these codes i usually create a folder for input images name input and then a folder called driving for driving video and a folder called checkpoints for well all the checkpoints and we can download the pre-trained checkpoints here so what we need right now mostly is this one depth phase model and then we need these two so you just download oh, we can download one of them so we i mean one at a time so we don't need to unzip it 
and since I already have it, um, well, I still download it. Never mind. But you have to go into depth models, and you gotta create a file called weight underscore nineteen, and you go into this folder and you copy and paste these two here, and then you go back to checkpoints, and you go back to here. And you want to download well these two both works you can okay i'll just show you I, I can show you both so i'm just gonna download both of them uh okay so you just drag and drop them into the checkpoints folder it's taking a while all right and the other one okay so after you have these two checkpoints in here yeah you're basically set and for these two checkpoints i forgot what the difference they have but i remember this one the spade one is slightly better but i forgot why but we can go back after we finish downloading the checkpoints we can go back to the um base folder and uh, you can create a text file if that's easier for you because I, I like doing it like this it's it's much easier for me uh so for normal checkpoint what i'm referring to is for using this checkpoint without the spade uh spade in the name this is the normal checkpoint for the spade checkpoint there's some uh, there's a slight difference in the generator so for the generator that uses the spade checkpoint you, you specify spade depth aware generator and for the well normal one you just specify depth aware generator that's that's the difference here so you need to make sure you specify the right thing since we need to also specify the checkpoint here and yeah what i usually do is copy i forgot to change the name here there's a specified um file but yeah what you want to do is copy this paste it into a text file and then you edit the image file here so it should be in the input folder and then you drag and drop whatever images face images you want and uh Trump, it'll be trump.png PNG. and for the checkpoint i already specified here for you so you can see checkpoint is at checkpoint slash spade again vox blah 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 and then for the driving video it's pointing at the driving folder and uh, going to go in and you just import a video file that has face motion the better the face uh i mean the less the face moves the better so i'm gonna show you this example from mega portrait um which is uh this one okay okay so this one is mega portrait mp4 mega portrait mp4 and then you just copy this whole line of command and then go back to your anaconda prompt and you paste it oh god um paste it uh wait what did i not do uh okay depth models oh it's weight 19 i trolled okay yeah, we just have to wait. And that one was using the spade, right? Yeah, that one was using the spade um, checkpoint. And I'll show you the normal one too. The normal one, I forgot to swap out the file names. So. All right, so after you've been shown whatever this is, that means your video is done. And you can go back to your base folder and then you can find the result. I wanna open it with, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So you can see the face animation here. Yeah, I know why it's kind of bad. The web demo shows much better results. Uh, let me show you the web demo. It's on talking face. Uh, let's see. Can we see this? Yeah, the web demo is somehow slightly better. There's also this. Okay, never mind. It's not much better. It's 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 the same, but still better than fom so yeah um i'm not gonna go over how to train it since it's uh a lot more complicated than this and most of the people probably don't need something related to training since the pre-trained model is already okay but they did say that training a better depth model is possible 
so yeah i mean but if you want to train you probably know how to do that so yeah um yeah so the for the norm model checkpoint which is without the spade one uh i don't think i need to go through it right it's pretty straightforward you just specify the checkpoint without the spade one and then generator the depth of wear generator uh that's it I'll, I'll just change out i'll just switch out these file names so yeah um yeah that's it for this tutorial uh thank you guys for watching if you want to support me you can check out my patreon or just check out my main video so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one